Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Fire Alarms and Such, and today I'm going to be doing a couple things. I'm going to be uh, first showing you how to install and break and then replace a brake rod in the EST Sega. And the other thing I'm going to do is I've made a couple more little improvements around here, nothing, nothing major. Uh, but up here, remember that hole? I finally got that capped up. And I got a now a fire extinguisher down there. I think that looks kind of cool, and it kind of kind of looks it, it's fitting with the uh, fire alarms. And instead of those work lights I used to have there, I actually got a clamp lamp. It's actually what it's called, and that makes me happy that it's a clamp lamp. Uh, so that's now it's lighting everything up. And I now have a uh, power strip down there. With this is not a surge strip. It, it doesn't protect against surges, it's just a power tap, which kind of makes me upset, but I'm just going to get in the habit of turning off everything when I'm done. And it looks messy. The only thing that's really plugged in is a phone charger, the light, the board, and the uh, little dust detector for my little wood shop, because that's what I'm going to be using to clean up all the glass once this explodes. Uh, so, let's actually get to installing. So, we're going to get our fire alarm key and it is this one the cat 45 fire alarm key so uh, to begin we will disarm the board and we will get into actually opening up the pole station so this is like what you do to test so you open it and inside you'll see it says uh, you can kind of see it it says glass rod this is the uh, this is the glass rod that the uh, that the full station comes with. I don't know why I'm spinning it around. It's a cylinder. It, anywho, so when you go to put it in, you basically you first make sure that the uh, front push plate is down all the way. Then you take it and just drop it in. And then when you go to close up the full station, it will roll back to where it's supposed to sit. So now then you can go ahead and close it up. Uh, Hold on. Okay, this cost. So uh, let me fix the towel. And I'm trying to think, should we do this with the worms active or not? I think to give this a real world example, we will arm the alarms. And it's still the Wheelock Exceeder and the uh, EST Genesis. EST, EST. Same thing. Ah, so now when you look inside, you can just barely see it. It's real dark, but you can kind of see the glass brake rod in there now. So uh, if you're ever looking and just out of curiosity, but don't touch anything because I'm because just don't, I'm not responsible for reactions. But if you get up real close and personal with the pole station, and you look inside, you should be able to see a brake rod if it is equipped with one. So, uh, before we pull it, I just wanna show you the instructions inside when they say to test, they want you to open up the pole station, take out the brake rod, close it, pull it, Open it, reset it, put your brake rod back in place, front plate will allow me, there, replace your brake rod, and then close up, and that's how they, and that is the recommended way of testing the pull station. So, I say, we get pulling. I have no clue how high, or not high really, but how far out the glass is going to come out, if it even shoots out. Uh, so I got towels down and then my little vacuum. That usually hooks up to my miter saw. That's why it's all weird. But yeah, it'll work. So, board is active. And I'm going to set my keys back on the hook. Up here, fire keys. 
and the board is active in three, two, one. Lift and pull. So it was a lot harder than it normally is because normally it's really easy to pull and you can kind of hear the glass snap. So let us go ahead and open it. Let's get our key. I still don't know if I like doing videos uh, on a tripod or holding it. The tripod is more stable but holding it I can actually get in and show you what I want to show you. Uh, so first off you can see you can see all the reflective shiny in there. Yeah, that's all glass. So I'm going to vacuum this out because I don't feel like getting glass splinters. Uh, so the glass rod itself went. Where did it go? Alright, so the pull station is re... Oh, there's one piece. Must have fallen out of the pull station. So here's one piece. It's really sharp. And you can see where it splintered there. That's where it cut. So there's... Oh, here's the other one. So one piece, when you crack it, stays in the... Ouch. In the pole station. And the other piece falls out. So there's the... Uh, there's the brake rod. So inside, you just then go ahead and load up another one, but... I'm not going to put another one in here because I'm going to save my other brake rod, this pole station, which we'll be doing later. But yeah, I got to vacuum this out now. Get all the glass out. So, uh, that was breaking a brake rod in an EST SIGA. I really hope you enjoyed. So, I will see you next video. Have a nice day.